Um, hello, um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to upload the new Erla um, into um, United Wholesale um, to run findings. Uh, but you can run this findings in any lender. Um, so the first video that I did for you, this is part two. First video we did was we showed you how to convert the old 1003 into the new Erla form, the, the new application as of March 1st. So um, many of us have a lot of old files that we were working on, but they didn't have contracts. So now they're applications. So now it's after the first. So we have to in turn switch them over to the new uh, form so that we can register them, upload them and run findings. So this will be the training video for United Wholesale. Uh, so here you go. So uh, you, you save your file and then you, um, same as before, export. But instead of the 3.2, you're going to do the Fannie Mae 3.4. Okay. All right. And then you're going to, um, I like to save it in, in a particular place. All right. So that's all, all this information saved. Uh, lender paid. Get the quote. And the reason, like, I, the reason I like to do this, because Fannie Mae doesn't let you edit the credits after, um, like uh, the seller contribution afterwards. And since we're structuring this loan with the mom, um, we're actually rolling the um, the closing costs and the down payment. So here's our par covering the whole comp, 2.897. So went down 2.897. And that was paying zero credit. So let's just go to the fees worksheet, clean it up. This is actually, this is zero. All right, there's my fees. Right. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put 28,200. So I don't need this one. This is the one that So that's, that's all the funds. All right, save, export, because I made that change. Want to replace it? Yep. Okay, so now it's ready. So now we we'll go back to price, import loan. All right, seventy-five. Um, let's say next month. Uh, I do the processor because I, I, I want them to get the conditions so they could work them. You see right here that you choose the new one. And then you go to this PC. Uh, and you see it's the XML document. So import. I didn't show you, but I, but I did, um, I did save the, uh, 
quite a reference number. So the first thing you do when you united this price. And so that's all there. The pricing. I'm gonna float it because there's no property yet. I could lock it, but I don't want to. Now I'm gonna run findings, the new. That's why I copied it easy. This makes it easier. Now we wait for the findings. And it should come back prove eligible, Lord willing, because uh, it does, we did have enough assets to cover for the closing. Um, and the score is pretty good. So being an arms length transaction uh, is the only guideline that we had to worry about make sure we covered the 15 percent so the house has the equity so you know we gave the numbers to to them for the agent to draw up the contract and hopefully we get this approval right there you go approved eligible